It's recording. Yeah, it's a bit wider angle. But... Okay, hello, lovely people. So um, I will speak now about uh, the tantric massage. Uh, what are the best ways to of doing it? So uh, what uh, are the best tips uh, to do it in the best way? So uh, I will. You will hear me at the workshops uh, repeating very often. Uh, Dance with your body, sound with your breath, yes? It's uh, the trick is for the energy flow, the sound, breath and the movement, uh, what you need to use um, for the energy flow to flow better. It's also uh, good for the love making. So um, when you dance with your body, the energy goes not only, you don't make a cake, yeah? you work with the energy so uh, when you do with your body the energy flows from your root chakra when you do it from the pelvis it flows from the root chakra through all your spine to the palms extension of the heart and then it goes yes we use uh, all body in the tantra basically we may massage with uh, uh, our elbows with our forearms uh, we can use our breast we can use uh, any other parts of the body we don't do the penetration during the tantric massage that's something else love me yes so then um, we use the sound and this is very important you know for the energy to flow it's great that your throat chakra is released uh, most of the blockages, a lot, are in uh, uh, our so-called bottleneck. Uh, if you know uh, some pipe uh, workers, the hydraulics, they know that when there is blockage, it's usually in the most narrowest part of the pipe, yes? So uh, this is our na narrowest part of uh, the energy flow, yes? And very often it's here. How to unblock it? Just by making the sounds. So dance with your body, sound with your breath. N use any sounds you like. You can use the sound of pleasure. You can use the sound of ocean, wind, like shh, mm, any sounds you like. And uh, yes, when you do this, Two, it's no more powerful technique. Even on the most advanced uh, workshop uh, I do on the massage course, there is no more powerful technique than these basics. And when you release this, it also gives the example for the receiver to also release it. Yes? And for them, the experience would be much deeper if they have that freedom. If you don't do it, they feel maybe it's awkward. But uh, if you do it, you shine the example for them to have freedom to release their voice when they feel like mm, pleasure or whatever, ah, something uh, more challenging, yes? So this is very important. So another thing, uh, very important in tantric massage, enjoy a small pleasure you feel then more excitement more sexual energy more sexual energy then more healing more power to liberate yourself from the conditionings what we didn't choose more power to expand in love grow in ecstasy so yes tantric massage we use the sexual energy as much it is okay with the receiver. Sometimes the receiver may ask you to not to use the sexual energy. In that case, yes, you, uh, you master yourself. That's why we give the course to be professional, to uh, master yourself, use it, don't lose it method, to master it, that uh, you will not, uh, you will be in control of your sexual desires, yes? then if the person is asking you to not be sexually active, then you don't break their boundaries, yes? 
so this is very important that's why yes uh, to become professional tantric master it's uh, required from you the mastering of uh, the sublimation method what i taught you just now so yes we use the sexual energy because uh, yes it gives us the power you know it, it's a uh, when um, the person goes through any emotional processes what are challenging for them or some uh, physical pain or whatever uh, when they feel pleasure uh, they are able to go through it with the pleasure uh, and the pleasure helps them like in the orgasmic birth maybe some of you heard uh, get educated about that it's a very beautiful way they use the ecstasy that the woman in the label uh, who delivered the child uh, is feeling the ecstasy, pleasure, uh, supported by her husband and uh, she uh, can have the best uh, ecstatic experience during the giving the child and this is much better start than uh, feeling the biggest traumatic experience giving the child, yes? So, so, so Yes, uh, in uh, Tantra we use the ecstasy also to go through the pain, so, so this is very important, yes? And then also the energy flows much better, more processes are uh, uh, when there is sexual energy. So yes, w that's why you will hear me, enjoy, feel the pleasure, let the pleasure circulate, as more pleasure you have, then more pleasure circulates between you and the partner and that's why for the same reason the love is another power what supports all the processes all going through the pain yes you love the person as much as possible you may meet person just first time and you go beyond appearances beyond the genders or whatever age uh, um, you love the person as a god as a goddess uh, with all your devotion to giving the massage, to serve the person needs the best possible, to respect the boundaries, to everything, do for to be full servant of the, and then you know, this you may receive a lot of pleasure and a lot of love because the those energies circulate, yes, but you have to let them out also as much as possible, as much it's comfortable for you, yes. Of course, you can have your own boundaries as you are a giver as well. Um, so, uh, okay, so, uh, yes, um, then, um, uh, yes, uh, tantric massage is about the connection between, like, the body, the heart, mind and spirit so yes you do it with the beautiful intentions you uh, when you have these three parts connected within you it, these three parts maybe connect also between you and the partner then beautiful things may happen the healing may happen release of the emotions uh, um, release of some pain uh, in the body uh, especially in the yoni and uh, yes, uh, that uh, set up the person for life. It can be some things what were holding them back, what were holding them back from ex uh, uh, experiencing nice sexuality, love, uh, relationships, yes? Some broken heart, um, uh, Emotions uh, carried uh, for many months can be released by the tantric massage. So uh, when uh, this beautiful connection is established, also beautiful pleasure may happen, uh, blue, beautiful ecstasy. Uh, the person may achieve uh, much higher ecstasy than uh, in typical sex. Uh, so yes, the intention is to go to those ecstasies, to those orgasms, what uh, gives you energy, what empowers you, what uplifts you, uh, uplifts your spirit, uh, uplifts your love, what connects uh, two persons much on the deeper level. So, 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 so,
so yes, um, um, you can experience the G-spot orgasm, the cervical orgasm, the uh, pyreneum orgasm by the men, uh, especially. Uh, and other types of orgasm uh, with the tantric massage, but not the ejaculatory orgasm and not the clitoria orgasm. Uh, for those, we try to uh, grow out of it. Uh, so intention is to not uh, to go for it. That's not the erotic massage. Yes. So uh, yes, we guide the person whenever we feel that the receiver is going into the close to the point of no return uh, the receiver is obliged and instructed by us that to raise the palm whenever you go to this uh, um, high ecstasy close to the point of no return if you're so excited you raise the palm slow down or uh, stop immediately when you are very close so um, Yes, and then you uh, support the person with the, uh, you can say, usually I tell the person uh, about use it, don't lose it method before the massage and at least how to react when they are in this state. That, okay, don't come, just do PC muscle, squeeze, uh, do the breath, breathe with me. And then when she is... Uh, uh, on a very high ecstasy, I can ask her, breathe with me, tight your PC muscle, and I uh, guide her energy, breathe in, breathe out, and I circulate with her, with her energy, yes, and I support her on her bringing, and then when I feel that she feels safe, and uh, she will not, uh, she's far away from the point of no return, then I uh, go further into massage. Sometimes uh, massaging other parts of the body is helping to spread this energy, spread this ecstasy from the genitals to another parts of the body. Then it's not accumulated here. Yes, this also helps. So this is the intention that uh, you don't go uh, into uh, like the goal-oriented uh, um, ejaculatory orgasm or clitoral orgasm. If it happened, uh, don't feel guilty, uh, don't make anyone feel guilty about it, just uh, learn how to do it much better next time, put stronger intentions, uh, see the signs uh, earlier, uh, better too early than before, uh, than, uh, sorry, better too early than too late, because if it's too late, it's game over, yes? So, um, yes. Um, uh, to explain uh, fully how uh, beautiful the tantric massage is, I would like to say to you uh, about uh, another massage, uh, what is um, uh, not uh, officially uh, called uh, tantric massage. Um, it's a lover's massage. Uh, so uh, when there are two tantric lovers, uh, what knows about bringing the energy up, what have this intention of bringing energy up, not to go for uh, the quick sex uh, and so, uh, when they do each other uh, the massage, uh, there is no limits. They love each other passionately and they go for it. They, they, like, uh, they kiss each other, they uh, um, lick each other, they... Um, there is no uh, like limitation there is uh, love uh, passionate love like uh, and uh, whenever it goes uh, very hot then they can always bring the energy each other give each other sign uh, about uh, slowing down uh, and uh, they uh, feel each other they support each other on this bringing energy up yes but they go very deep they love each other they share the love as deep as possible without limits yes so, in official tantric massage, it's not allowed to kiss, it's not allowed to lick, it's not allowed to penetrate with the lingam, yes? Um, but you go as far as possible to this ideal state of the lo lover's massage, yes? That you love, that you enjoy, that you uh, feel ecstasy as much as possible, yes? And you, you, you do as close as possible. 
and of course within the boundaries of the receiver yes so before every session you talk about the boundaries what is allowed into that direction you may explain this example to the person uh, hey this is where is direction we go as close as possible to the lover's massage i'm not gonna kiss you i'm not gonna penetrate you with the lingam but i will love you as i would be your best lover of your life and you would be my best lover of my life at this moment at that session when the session is finished we thank each other we professionally we don't go into any relationship with that person the person is just the goddess the god on the session and afterwards if we are professionals we should be able to say thank you it was beautiful uh, i loved you during that time but now i let go and yes uh, enjoy your life yes we don't interfere into the relationship uh, things uh, when we are professionals yes if we are into the lovers yes we can go further and we can use even the tantric massage uh, or uh, we call it in that case lovers massage because it uh, goes over the limits of official tantric massage uh, we can use the ta this kind of tantric massage tantric lovers massage into uh, we can use it as a foreplay as a afterplay as a um, middle play uh, in our love making uh, that's possible but only between the lovers stuff yeah so yes um uh, there are three aspects uh, what are very important in the tantric massage it's like the relaxation yes to be fully relaxed to leave all the things behind uh, you know if you cannot leave the shit uh, what you are uh, having in your emotions you are stressed about something maybe um, yes you have too much things on your head or too much things on your heart maybe i don't know your cat died it's not good moment uh, if you are emotionally distracted to give someone uh, the this shit you know basically you know so in that case uh, uh, yes um, you may postpone the uh, session maybe uh, you uh, Yes, uh, you uh, relax on the bad level, yes? So as more you relax, then also the energy flows. If the person also, the receiver is more relaxed, then uh, also it flows much easier, yes? So uh, the other aspect is the presence, yes, to be present, yes, to be here and now. That's also, you know, if you are busy with your shit um, in your head, then you will pass all this shit also in your head. So, so uh, to be <laughs> more tantric, you better don't watch the news, or don't get too much uh, in your head. Be free from it, yes, to be here and now, be more present, yes. So uh, don't you don't need to know all the gossips of the village, uh, you know, like to uh, it's better maybe to live with uh, more uh, empty mind instead of, uh, you know, uh, being busy, especially during the massage. Yes. So presence, you train the presence through observing the breath, for example, yeah, through making love. You are in presence. Yes, that's great. You know. So, yes, um, then uh, another aspect is uh, um, the love, the unconditional love as much as possible. So that's, that's it. Uh, do you have any questions? So, okay, I will uh, finish. Thank you very much for your attention.